After 10 years of this bike sitting, it's time to get it running and back on the road. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Gold Guy YouTube channel and welcome back to the 1973 Suzuki GT550 restoration. Uh, it's more of a restoration I guess you could say because I'm not fully restoring it but today is the day we are going to try and ride this bike. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to try to start this bike up, okay? But before I even think about running this bike, there's a few things I need to do. And they all include lubrication. Lubrication is very important, especially for a bike that hasn't ran in like 10 years. We're going to top off this oil tank. This is direct injected oil into the crankcase, lubricating the lower end bearing. And then also, this bike requires 1500 cc's or milliliters of motorcycle engine oil or ATF, basically just for the transmission and the wet clutch. And I look down in there and there is hardly any oil in the thing. It's basically empty, there's like nothing, there's no dipstick, but I couldn't see much. So we're gonna drain out whatever's left of this engine oil and refill it with some 10W40 motorcycle oil. And then, and only then, well, I feel confident about starting this bike up. This is not my bike, guys. I'm doing this for a friend, so I really don't want to blow up someone else's bike. If it was mine, I would treat it as a learning experience, but if it's someone else's, not a good luck. To fill up the two-stroke injection tank, we first need to put the key in. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. I've never seen a combination latch like that. Here is the oil tank. This thing holds a lot of oil. And this is what I'm putting in the two-stroke tank. This is Scooter Pro two-stroke high-performance engine oil made by Maxima Racing Oils. I don't think it really matters too much, but this is supposedly good stuff, and it does say injector or premix, synthetic low smoke. So it seems like that's what I want. Here we go, funnel in, and let's go ahead Get some of this two-stroke oil. That is not the color I expected. Usually it's like blue. This stuff is the color of normal motor oil. Interesting. All right, we'll do a little more, but if we have any leaks, it's just gonna leak out all over the place. So now that we've got some in there, and it's actually filled up that little sight glass there, as you can see, let's just let it sit for a while and see if we have any leaks. Considering there is a bread twisty tie um, <laughs> acting as a clamp for this little fitting here on the oil injection line, I'm guessing we might have a leak or two, so we'll wait and see. In the meantime, I'm going to drain out the transmission oil. Suzuki was nice enough to put the oil drain bolt right in between these two pipes here, but what's weird is that there's another one, so there's like two drain bolts and one's right above the middle exhaust pipe. I don't know what that's about. All right, I'm guessing 17 millimeter. Let's see. Nope, it's much bigger than that. So a good thing I got my second guess, which is 21 millimeter. And that is exactly what it is. Oh, shall we? And a one, two, three. I got like no oil on me. There's like none in there. That's about it. Probably should do this on the center stand, but oh well. Another one of those magnetic oil drain bolts. Definitely some metal shavings on it, but not too much. I'll just wipe those off. Let's get this guy back in. 
Now it's time to fill it back up. I'm using this Castrol Activo 10W40 motorcycle oil and it takes 1500 milliliters, a little more than one and a half of these containers. There we go, we're just under the half port line. That's gonna be good. There we go, now I can actually see oil down in there. Before, I could not even see any oil. Okay, and the only fluid left to get in the bike is gas. I went ahead and topped off the battery. Yep, it's showing green now, so we've got a fresh charge on the battery. We've got full oil tank. Now I just need to get some gas and see if this thing will run today. As far as fuel goes, I'm using this 32 to one two-stroke oil. It's 93 octane gas in it. And here we go. No going back now. It's been about two weeks since I sealed the tank, so the sealer definitely should be dry now. But in case I have any leaks, I'm just putting in just that, which is like half a gallon. We'll see what that does certainly see fuel going into the filter that's a good sign and I see it looks like the flow of fuel has stopped I can also noticeably see oil in this two-stroke injection line that's clear I can see oil up to the line so that is good as well And another great thing, I don't see any fuel leaking out of the bottom of the carburetors. I think we're all ready to go and try to start this thing up. Tank's not even half full. All right, T on. Choke on, I think. Oh yeah, run to the left, start to the right. It's nice that they put that on there. We're in start position. Petcock's on prime. Please, please, please be good. Good to me. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to kickstart it because I had a comment that said not to use the electric start and on these bikes until it's already warmed up. So I'm just gonna try the kickstart for now. Oh. Wow. No way it only took three kicks. Three cylinders, three kicks, but it also stalled. Okay, let's see if we can get it to run longer than a two seconds. Nope, it doesn't seem like it wants to idle just yet. Oh. Definitely some smoke. Let's try turning the choke off. Yes! Man, it sounds crazy. It's smoking a lot.
fuel switch works. Uh, it seemed like the smoke might have been slowing down a little bit. Before we take this bike on a ride, I want to check this oil injection line to see if the oil pump is actually working. All right, to remove the oil injection line, it's just one eight millimeter banjo fitting. There we go, we've got it off. Now let's start the bike back up and see if oil comes out of this banjo fitting. I do not see any oil coming out of this banjo fitting. Cover covering the oil pump right here. Let's just pop this cover off and see if we can take a look at it. Throttle cable going to the oil pump is doing its job. Let's see if we can check the next oil injection line. Nope, I do not see any oil coming out of that injection line. So I did some research and apparently there is an air bleed screw on top of this pump. It's right up here. It's really hard for you guys to see it. But I'm gonna crack that pump uh, bolt open. Maybe there's just air in the lines preventing oil from flowing. Let's try to open that up a bit. I guess it probably has to be running to actually bleed the air out though. <laughs> That sound is not good when I use the electric start. If you guys know what that clunking might be, let me know, but it doesn't sound great. Oh, yep. I see a little bit of oil coming out of this banjo fitting now. I think it's flowing. For, upon doing a little bit more research, it seems that not much oil is supposed to come out of those and what i'm seeing is just like a tiny little drip like every few seconds of running so if that seems right let me know in the comments below okay i'm not going to over tighten these banjo bolts because they don't like that they uh shear off right at the hole so just barely tighten it and then let's reinstall this cover All right, all reassembled. I can definitely tell that the oil tank is at a lower level. So it looks like the engine did drink up some of that oil. And I did see a lot of it spilling out when I had that air screw loosened up. that's all all for this video guys that's pretty promising it's looking good for a test ride in the next video <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i really hope all this smoke clears up if it doesn't we're gonna be kind of screwed we'll have to see if tim wants me to replace the crank seals because it's probably what it needs but thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you have any tips for me in the comments below I am still learning about these bikes and I don't know much about it yet. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to stay in the loop so you don't miss out on the next video, which will be a test ride. I'll see you guys then. Peace.